As you know, I have many figurines, but I don't happen to have one of Gwyneth Paltrow. But maybe this one will do. Because she does kind of clown around. Although I'm not sure that she actually is clowning. Recently, she told us about uh, inserting some ozone gas up her rear. Why? Well, she wasn't really clear about this. She said it was helpful, although never said why. There are alternative practitioners who claim that uh, injecting ozone gas into the body in various ways is a treatment for disease. There is zero scientific evidence for that. Now, ozone is a gas, O3, for those of you who are chemically astute, and it is a good disinfectant. Indeed, Montreal city water is treated with ozone gas and hmm, gets rid of the bacteria in there. But in terms of treatment, no. However, at least ozone is a real gas. It exists. And the reason I say that is because I want to introduce you to another supposed gas that doesn't really exist, called organ. This was the brainchild of a psychiatrist in Vienna in the 1940s by the name of Wilhelm Reich. He was a contemporary and a follower of, uh, of Freud. And he had some very interesting beliefs. He believed that the human orgasm was essential to health because it was releasing extra energy that had built up in the body, which if not released could do harm. He also knew where this energy came from. Believe it or not, it came from the atmosphere in the form of some gas. He called it organ and the human body would absorb it. And you'd have to absorb enough of it to give you energy, but then periodically release it or you would get sick. And he found a way that it could be absorbed very, very effectively with his organ accumulator. What was the organ accumulator? It was a cabinet, a wooden cabinet. I got a six scale model of it here. Here's my organ accumulator. All that was inside was a chair. No electronics, no mechanical gizmos, nothing. It was just a wooden cabinet. And yet people believed that sitting inside of it would somehow energize them. And there were all kinds of people who believed in this. The poet Allen Ginsberg, for example, and more recently, Sean Connery, during his James Bond days. Apparently, he had some issues uh, about his virility. One would not think so. And he thought that he needed some organ. And he actually went inside one of these organ accumulators. And I'm not sure whether or not it improved his uh, manhood or not, but uh, he did, at least for a short period of time, buy into this. Well, so far, Gwyneth Paltrow has not bought into this. As far as we know, it does not appear on her Goop website. But uh, Maybe if she ever gets a hold of this idea, uh, she'll start to market it. And maybe the chair inside uh, will be altered so that at the same time that you are sitting there waiting for the mythical organ, you can also insert some ozone gas up the rear. Woody Allen poked fun at the organ accumulator in his 1973 movie Sleeper which takes place in the dystopia of future America, where people no longer have sex in the usual way, they climb into the orgasmatron and enjoy themselves. Well, the orgasmatron was a direct dig at Wilhelm's uh, organ accumulator. And there is our weird story that links Gwyneth Paltrow, James Bond, and Wilhelm Reich.